Artists are stupid. You have to understand. Artists are artists. One are insane, and then second, they're stupid. You can lock them in a closet and slide paper under the door. They'll slide it out with drawings on it, just so they can get more paper. People would look at it and go, "Wow, this is cool." I don't know who'd publish it. It still took 80 phone calls before I got a call back. Oh, my mom tells me I'm really good. Smithsonian had an article with pictures of the pictures, and so did Time Magazine. And my name was pretty big for Time Magazine. I mean, you know, type page, big enough to see, and and that was cool. But uh, it's a, I figured at least he should have taken me out for a cocktail or something. He made his copy of my drawing. He sold for four million dollars. His painting. But, so I thought it's, I'll do it again and see what I can peddle it for. You know. Maybe I'll have it in an auction or something. Cause I heard somebody said if you get online, that some of the stuff has been re reselling from you know being sold to, and resold are up, and they said like. And I don't know if they were speaking specifically of me or just in general, but it seems like they were like five, talking 5,000 and stuff like that. Man, I, if, if that's true, I want to know, get in on it while I still can sit up and take nourishment. Ask your permission to use your stuff and you never oh, got somebody says, for why it, don't huh? you sue them? Yeah. I just because I don't own the, the comic magazine publisher mm. is the owner of all the characters in it, mm. you know, copyright. So, and I said they wouldn't sue anybody unless it, it was going to bring them a, a half a million to begin with. I mean, there's so much money going on there that they don't care about 20, don't bother to sue them for that little bit, mm. 50,000 50, there. Whatever. So it's, uh, it's been good to tell a few stories about it. I mean, you've been ringing it to death for years. <laughs>